Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcoming you back to Lovecraft Country and Let's Play Control, and welcome to the first new episode, well, episode with new material. Some of this uh, will be familiar to a few of you back there, as the first half was a bonus episode that was recorded for supporters, which I have edited into this episode. That's going to unfortunately have the kind of washed out color palette the first episodes did, but I have got those settings ironed out, as the second half of this episode will show, as is completely new material for everybody out there. So yes... Just let you know that, of course, supporters do get additional material, including additional Let's Try episodes. So, but that being said, let's get into the game and let's take control. Hello, everyone. This is Fantastic Worlds. Welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and Let's Try Control. Okay, one thing I recalled, by the way, is that we bypassed a lot of stuff here that had, like, clearance locks and such on our way to get to this mission. So before we go any further, and yes, I know how to actually progress. I'm not just delaying things. I want to check some stuff out. It's probably just not more than a bunch of collectibles and possibly crafting material. But let's find out. All right, cool. Like I said, crafting material over here. Uh, house memory, that's what it is, yeah. And whatever this is, come on. Speak to me. Okay, agent death notification. By the way, I accidentally picked up one on the way, so there'll be two being read on this one, okay? All right. Executive meeting missions. Agent items for the next executive meeting. Rising costs of AWE response. It's always about the budget. Update on mold eradication efforts. And strangely, I have explained before just how dangerous goddamn mold is. Yeah, fungus may be what kills us all in the end, but... Here it's probably even worse. Upcoming annual salary review, because it's always about the money. New supply of coffee filters to be found and vetted. And that's actually not as stupid as it sounds, because if you poisoned all the coffee filters, you'd poison all the people. Everybody drinks coffee, right? And always going to drink their own stuff, unless they're really addicted to uh, Starbucks or something. Now I'm picturing a Starbucks in the oldest house, and I'm just shuddered. Please come prepared. Thanks for your time. All right, so, lockdown directives. Pay attention, Alberto. It's the last time explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can all be lifted by a director override in the maintenance once the director is satisfied the situation is under control. In other words, us now. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system of security and research slapped together. It may be lifted once. A, the threat has been neutralized. And B, a high clearance individual gives the system the all clear. The process is not the same as the director overrides to stop saying so in documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I told the darlings a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays this way. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just all make sure our staff understands how this mess works. So that explains our situation. The lockdown means is that the hiss and us cannot get out. The janitor, a.k.a., you know, God in a uh, coverall, probably, has let us in, but that's an in movement. That means it can't go out. So there's also, well, let's see. Now we've actually gone through this stuff. Let's go this way. Now, I think, let's see. One of the things about this is I think we can actually get into some of these um, places if we knock. Okay, that's not one that breaks. What about that one? Wow. I'm going to say the reinforced glass is quite impressive. But one less shot. Ah, damn it. I know this is all coming out of the budget, but the budget's fucked for the next 10 years anyways. At this point... Oh, no. Please shut up. Thank you. There will be some discipline and order in this facility if I have to murder every single one of you. Hey. Hey. Roberts, what did I say? You too, Franklin. I see you talking non non company line over there. Was there anything in here? I didn't recall. Just Albert. Her usual goofing off. Alright, so. Again, material we've be completely missed the first time around. Alright, dinner reservations? Really? Seriously. Dinner rosations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ambre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for lobby at reception. Remember, she is turning 46. Oh, God. Another another secretary having to take over the uh, husbandly duties for a uh, career. Oh, God. There's more of you. Shut up. Shut up. Really should get to the main plot, but I'm having too much fun over here. Okay, okay. All right, I hear you. I hear you. 
That's right, that's how I get my practice, damn it. Shooting out our own systems and our own people. Oh, technically, I think you quit before I arrived, so feeling less bad about shooting you dead. Okay, that was where the executive things were. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing about, you know, never, ever, ever run towards progress in a video game because you'll miss all the things the developers and... I don't know. Does that blast make it look good? I think I could do better. All right, so hit it. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Yeah, lock yourself in with a device causing dimensional distortion. I'm sure that wrote well. Can't believe they can lock down the damn toilets. That's just cr that's just rude. All right, all right, all right. Eyes on the prize. Let's see what else we can find around here. Anything? Anything at all? Come on, I'm looking for crunch. Give me crunch. No, sorry, give me fluff. Crunch is the shooting part. I'm not sure I'm big on that yet. All right, so. That's central executive. I uh, toss back here a bit and then. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, speakers are gone. I, somebody here is talking out of turn. Okay, that's the, direct, that's the way we came. Okay, I think we're in a full sweep here. Come on, Jesse. Gotta work on that cardio. God, I hope we can upgrade this. Oh, for God's sakes, people. What did I. T oh, God, I can't even trigger. Yep, I can't use a gun in here. Great. I gotta listen to this dri dribble. And there we are. Oh, another one of the radios. We're listening to this shit instead of the babbling. Now, I believe the hum, by the way, we're getting around here, the hiss, whatever you want to call it, is kind of doing a, a assimilation thing where it's claiming that, you know, you're safe with us in this group mind and we're going to forever take care of you and your thoughts will become the thoughts. Oh, God, I've got so many mods. I have to learn how to upgrade. I'm guessing you probably get to a certain point and oh, research department. What do we got? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, is this how they make the HRD things? Mass, okay, mass it can be taken. I understand about 5% of this. That's probably more than most people. All right, what do we got here? Okay, okay. Uh, that, uh, you're reusing assets. I've seen these before. But that's, you're talking about the apl practical applications of a hypercube, aka a tesseract, which is actually a thing that exists and not just something they made up for um, Marvel Universe. It's a fourth dimension, a representation of a fourth dimensional cube. All right, we came through. Oh, God, they turned the radio off on me. Ha ha ha. All right, cool. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, God, somebody's been less than tidy, but who exactly am I, you know, to complain about that? Right then, let's see what we got. Got it. I, st I just unlocked Strange Collection, which probably means I uh, got like 50 of these things so far. All right, I'm gonna need a lot of those. I'm thinking, peri-utility. Objects of power are unique. Para natural topics, objects of power, and their peri-utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals peri-utilitarians, like Jesse. Using the potency of these abilities depends on the peri-utilitarian. Using the blank blank object of power as an example, some peri-utilitarians can th achieve a throw resistance for new R's, while others are incapable of little as blank. Okay, we've seen the presentation. What exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but largely determines some blank exists in the body, and like all muscles can be exercised, probably psychic abilities. Come on now. I've officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he's one of the most powerful periutilitians that Barrow has ever seen. Darling is still considering this request. Northmore. Okay, we're gonna. I think. Oh yeah, we already got that one. Okay. Apparently, Mark still marks it as new, even if you heard it when we first picked it up. Okay. 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 I know. I know. Ah, more stuff. Kind of wondering why they got all this stuff here. I mean, what is the in-universe game? purpose for having those things. It was the same as, you know, Alan Wake always finding batteries in the middle of a, uh, in the middle of the forest. Hmm. Oh, gods. 
I hate it when people get brainwashed into a cult. They just start saying the same things over and over again constantly. Very annoying. I should probably get back to the main plot. Oh, wait, wait. I see a dot up there. You know what that means. Dot means something of interest. Yes, this will be an OCD um, oof, trip, I'm afraid. And something shiny, I'm going to find it. Because in the games, finding shiny is actually... A survival mechanism. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go through there. Been through there, probably. All right. Ah, I found another one. Excellent. Really got careless. Oh, shifted bathroom complaint. Oh, gods. Oh, yeah. Think about the director. You're going to get all of this stuff. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in this and bowl for station for three years. I've earned a right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. Ugh, gods. Somebody talk to the spirit of the place. Maybe it would be amenable. I'm guessing, you know, the typical government low health boost. What the heck is... Oh, more damage. Does more damage. It will do more damage the lower our health gets, and that could actually be quite useful for me, considering how often I get shot up around here. All right, what do you got? I'm thinking that must be ambience from like Alan Wake or something. Maybe like a little Easter egg. Yeah, the thing is, I'm guessing what happened is when we walked, talked to Emily, she teleported us past all of this because there's no way I would have missed all this crap. All right, what do we got? Research and records. Technological resistances. Te examine paranatural topics, technological limitation of the oldest house. Summary, the oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far is restrictive the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or tr transmit any blank single. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, even those are unreliable. Probably due to the fact that the lower power and thus this, the uh, quantum uncertainty of the area causes less interference with the scattering of the waves themselves. Higher frequency waves have a smaller wavelength, so that means that they will be affected more by individual particle interference than the, than the um, wider um, amplitude of the radio waves. And motherfucker, yes, I did take it two years. I mean, it took, what was it? Equivalent to two semesters of this sort of technology when I was in the military. So, yeah. <laughs> This is where it comes in handy. If the power of the collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural zeitgeist for the oldest house to assimilate them. Similarly, the items have not been known to be receptacles for altered status. Technology is moving too fast to pace for the collective unconsciousness to uh, alterations to occur. In other words, it's saying that technology is not part of the magical environment because it's too it, it doesn't exist and when it does uh, for long and for until it becomes something else entirely, and then you end up with. It can't be stable enough to hold a charge. Now, I believe this to be incorrect because I have seen uh, technomancy. It's an interesting little side thing. You'd not like they like telekinetically move machines around, but I've seen alterations of algorithms through magical means. Now, that's fascinating. Terrifying if you think they, think about it for too long. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Well, that's why they had all the tech out, but I also believe it's so that nothing can get in the tech and come out with it because last thing we need is like... Azathoth in the wireless. Ooh, ooh, do we have something here? Ah, uh, that's clearance four. Oh, well. Boardrooms in that direction. I know, I know, I should be doing some more stuff. Useful stuff around here, but... Oh, I think we've gone full circle. Alright, so we can... I'm gonna pop back into the teleporter. Alright, alright, I understand knees don't like it when I do that, but it's survivable. Fast travel. Okay, so what we want to do is head to Dead Letters. No, mailroom. Oh, gods. Okay, so back to our um, trolling for records. And by the way, as the music can tell you, apparently areas that were previously cleared can be recolonized by the Hiss. And I was attacked by a whole bunch of people with rocket propelled grenade launchers out there. Now, I'm still working on easy mode and the difficulty of the fight coming through and the fact that I managed to succeed to I me mean, with great um, effort means I think I've set this to the right setting for what I need. Now, games... I've heard a lot of people ragging on easy mode. Games are meant to be played to be fun, not meant to play to be mental torture. That's what life is for. Alberto Anyways. Tomasi, head of comms. All right, cool. Got somebody as ID. All right, collectible. Got your stuff. Unread. Ah, well done, Everix One. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. Great. And now you're controlled by a alien virus. Got him. Uh-huh. Let's see if he had an apocalyptic log. All right, take this down. 
The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Uh, yeah. personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds at all that I didn't show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? You know what? I don't feel so bad about him being dead now. Well, worse than dead. Erased. Right, so this is the hotline chamber, and why I spent some fruitless time looking for a uh, flight uh, power to get through it, it turns out it's just kind of really easier than that. I'm making things so much more difficult for myself again. All right, all right. So I can't seem to get rid of the combat music. Sorry about that. You're going to have to live with me. Now, if you watched my Secret World series, you know that I, I am not the smoothest operator when it comes to these sort of things. All right. Ocean view and Whoa. all right. Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the ah. road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. It's an archetype. You just have to do it five times. Ugh, gods, I feel so stupid. Here's the one we're looking for, and of course, it's not gonna be that easy to open. I got all the. I don't know how many. Would you actually want to go down through any of these without, you know, being? And uh, I'm not gonna shoot out the. Be rude. Uh, to be a guest. All right, so what's down here before we interact with anything? Two, 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 three, two, two, four. Casino. God damn, I want to see what the casino's like. But yeah, this is what's called an archetype. Basically, when you think of a thing, a common... Hi, Jess. Your eyes are actually quite nice in this color. When you think of a common thing, a thing that we all visualize when we see it, if we say the same words, if we think roadside, motel, and casino, this is kind of the epitome of that, how we see it. Therefore, it's etched into the dream world. Including that stupid music. Oh, God, tell me. Please tell me. There's an off switch. Does not appear to be. Let's just get out of here. Uh, there you are. I'm not shooting it. See, I'm just not doing that to be polite, but if you enter someone's domain and offer violence... Oh, Hello? I heard something. Anyone here? And you offer violence, you're being an extremely bad guest. All right, so I heard something down here. I thought... Wait, 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 wait. Is it an unlock thing? No. Is it somewhere else? I don't know. Let's keep looking around. Maybe what you heard is over... Wait, what's that? Washington American Airlines. Ugh, gods. Oh, there's something in here? No, no, not even the coffee maker's got any powder left. I'm disappointed. Although, I'd have to check this place for bed bugs. Always check for bed bugs. If you don't know how, look it up. All right, so another door. Yep, one door closes, another enter opens. Let's see if there's anything in here. No, nope, same place. Cut and paste. Red environment, of course. I'm sorry about not recording that fight, but... I was completely unaware of the fa- Alright, alright. Completely unaware of the fact that you could have enemies reappear in an area that is already cleared. So, I'm going to be more careful about that in the future. What do we got? Key has a black pyramid on it. Alright, we know what to do with this, right? Let's check out the other places, too. You never know. Alright, cool, cool. It's, nope, just the three doors, I guess. Oh, well. So, let's go unlock that door. I guess we'll be unlocking the rest of them at some point. In the meantime, this is the control bureau. Now, recent inverted pyramid is the pyramid of it, yeah, correctly, with the top at the bottom, represents um, the ascension. This one is an inversion from the Demiurge, which is designed to prevent ascension and remain thing, have things remain exactly as they are. Some people think that's a good thing. I'm not so keen on it. All right, so, hey. I just kind of wish they had the likeness. Oh, it's a picture of a bridge across the opening, so I guess this is... You know, this is kind of a funky way to have your drawbridge. All right, one more time. All right. Dematerialize this TARDIS. All right. Now, I would have long ago been saying that, you know, the the oldest house is a TARDIS, but I know better. TARDIS's move. Oldest house... Houses... 
this is where we define reality, so this is where we are. But let's see who's on the line. God, that noise is nuts. Oh god, another astral trip. She shell. It's a... okay. But you want me to do some stuff first. Okay, cool. Little sadists. Uh, I should get used to jumping. Get used to the timing and the button press and what the hell is this? Okay. Great. That's awesome. What does that mean? The hell? Okay, it looks like I can't be killed. Great. That's what I need. Unkillable enemies. And once I get down there, it's going to try to get me. So, let's have a plan. Going the long way around. Feel like I'm being chased by Pac-Man. I think that's kind of what we're doing here. Okay. Uh, these guys must like classic arcade games. All right, so the plan is... Yeah, the plan's da exactly that. Run in this direction. Because whatever these things are, they're not very smart. Granted, I don't feel that much smarter. I'm also a rat running through their maze. Great. Oh, gods. It's gonna... I can't change the ringtone on this thing, can I? Nope. Oh, gods. Well, let's see what where grip strength is right. Okay, Jesse? Oh, good grip strength on you, Jesse. All that time on the run must have... Oh, God. The thing is, I like the fact that they'll call it a seashell. Because, like, the old, the old thing about putting it... Oh, all right, hang on. Not... Jesse. Jesse. Oh, gods. Come on. Let's get out of here. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is... under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Back in the director's office. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Well, that was charming. I said to teleport me back into my office. And it's my office now, motherfucker. Oh. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An right. echo with important info. Yeah. I need to get back to Emily. Uh, we can use a teleporter, but we gotta get back to People it first. react strongly when I tell them about you. Oh, right. She's talking... too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Uh, not gonna take the document? Alright, cool. Okay, so, right. Quick thing about the phone. The phone says we reach our past selves and trench. Now, what that means is the consciousness... Is, this is a connection to the consciousness of stored of all previous directors and previous members of the board. But the thing is, it's not the living presence because that's... Of course, you know, what we talk to when we look directly in the astral plane. So therefore, that's how they record information. They basically... I love the gun keeps shifting on me. The gun, they record all of the information of the past selves, put them into a record, and have that record available as a database. The Halls of Memory, as um, I once called it, is a completely a similar construct. Yeah. Play with psychopomps, you get a lot of information. Right, so I gotta get back to the teleporter, and odds are I'm gonna have to fight my way back through, because what happens is I must have triggered 
the um, ambush that you're supposed to get on this point. Anyways, I should really, however, check out what we got there. Case files, hotline, objects of power. Containment procedure. Object is inaccessible for use except for the director. Object is a 1960s red baker light. That was an act. I remember those. Telephone. The Praturi's dial has been replaced with a black novel unknown purpose. The Wayne phone ways. I'm not sure why that's redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the board. If anyone used by anyone in the director, the object will cause lethal. So you're talking about the gun will kill anybody who doesn't want touches it who isn't the, want to be the director. So object is currently bound to deck trench. I'll have to update that. The object extremely benefits in the doctor. The director's office placed in the desk. Director Northmore was the first known Brio agent to use it. Battery of uh, he must have, Northmore must have been the person we had before Trench. The battery of test on the object including blank and blank, but its origin remains unknown. Okay, so back up to collectibles. Hotline. Oh my god. We can talk to him about all of this shit. This is going to be interesting. We've already gone through one of it, but let's go with... Let's talk to him. Ugh, god. So let's talk to him about the hotline. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing. Well, that's going to be annoying fast. So loud, I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Find it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. They can't be tampered with. A lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now, but I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia, exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. Okay, so all the information that we get from Trench is the last was at recorded at the moment of his death. So apparently what happened is that Trench was under attack by the Hiss in a subtle way, was manipulating his mind to make him unwilling, unable to see what was going on around him to the point where he couldn't see the attack until it was too late. And then he had to kill him, so the machine, sorry, the machine, the demi, demiurge made him kill himself to prevent infect, full infection by the Hiss and taking control of the gun. So let's talk to him about the management team. Talk is not the right word, I know. director needs a team. My Oops. management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I can. Well, we already did that one. Oops. Oh, God, I'll get used to this, guys. Trust me. One thing at a time. There we go. G. All right, keep going. All right, hotline. Management team, Ocean View Motel. We've probably talked to him about that. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. Liminal. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel, the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even True. Bored. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Yeah, these guys need, these guys seriously need psychiatrists. 
because he's suffering from uh, PTSD hardcore. Now, control points is think we've already seen before, but we'll go over that real quick. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians. Ah, the house. sacred geometry. A way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my Next side. He is the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Ah, family troubles. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, uh -huh. leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling was right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? Hmm, great. This is a beautiful uh, situation we've walked ourselves into. All right, the coming storm. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide-and-seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Hmm. Pain and suffering are mandatory. Uh. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Hmm. A repeating word there, but yeah, it appears that whatever is happening. Now remember, we're dealing with a um unreliable narrator. We, he's already admitted that his mental processes are in fact compromised to some degree. So, let's see what he thinks about the directorship. Oh, somebody else today. Yeah, that sounds about right. But we chose ourselves. <laughs> God, the game is self-aware. Alright, I think we've had enough of that. Alright, and multimedia. I think, yeah, we just have the hotline one. Alright, so, yeah. Right then, so let's go back to the um, control point and have that ambush yet again, so you get to see just how I'm dealing with the new settings. You'll notice, by the way, I'm just clinging to cover like crazy. I'm going non-traditional ways. Let's assume we're under attack. Yep, we're under attack. Come on. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Who's next? See, I'm thinking I just want to leave. Because that's all I need to do. Oh, God, you're back. As we don't know if they can follow us in here. Okay, circle I want, because I'm going to call it magic circles from now on. I hear something. All right, so we're going to port back. It's fast travel. We want the central executive. 
Okay, so you may note that I'm... Oh, there's the gun. We're in a safe zone. Hi, guys. There's some shit going on. All right, so let's go talk to Emily in the boardroom about everything. Hi, Emmy. We Jesse, got... Pro did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. Sure. Why do I... Okay, so something's here. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trent is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. You haven't seen me earlier. This can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Oh. Well, this is dramatic. Oh, this is the oldest house's exterior. Again, I'm not going to call it TARDIS, because that would be kind of cheapening it. Ooh, this guy's the one in charge, by the way. There's kind of a joke in pre-Gnosticism that God is the janitor for his own creation. That he's bound himself to the whole mess and has to keep cleaning it up. I think there's some truth to that. Okay, green gas is never a good sign. Joker's been here, I guess. God, let's just not be Arkham Asylum. It's next up. Uh, oh, actually, no, that would be kind of cool. Cross this and Arkham Asylum. Have Batman go to the oldest house. And the Joker taking over the control points. Oh, that would be wonderful. Well, that looks ominous. And we're back. Yes, this is the fresh material for the new series. So we have finally caught up to the present, if you're watching this in real time. And we're up to Jesse. Now, one of the things that we were supposed to do is we are supposed to do our first crafting, which, thank gods. Because we've been running on pretty base, and frankly, one of my favorite things to do is, of course, if you follow my games at all, I love my tactical building. You know, if it comes to Darkest Dungeon or Cultist Simulator or anything else where you get the ability to construct or craft your defenses and offensive capabilities, I'm all over that. But let's start with the abilities first. Then we have to decide what we want to unlock. Now, energy, melee damage, or launch damage. Now, health yeah, I'm kind of thinking that of all of these, let's go with the most basic, shall we? Very para utilitarian. I wonder if that means not enough essence to reset ability. And we could increase health again. Now, again, of course, we could do extra launch damage. And frankly, yeah, all of this looks kind of awesome. But oh my god, launch grenades and rockets back. Ugh. I suppose I gotta get better at this, anyways. Let's let's do that. Okay, so the melee damage is not really a thing I want to get into. Energy, however, is kind of like ammo. So my guess is that, you know, they gave us four. Let's just do what they're expecting of us here. Let's spread it out. Oh, cool. Additional weapon form slot. 
excellent. I don't know what that means, mind you, but oh, cool. What's that going to be? I see. The more we do, the more we do. Another eleven to unlock. We get another personal mod slot. This is excellent. But let's get back to our gun, shall we? Because that's kind of our bread and butter here. Astro Constructs, weapons form and mods. We have two weapons form. Construct Shatter. Shatter is a high stopping power with a scatter shot that develop, devastates grouped enemies at close range. It's the shotgun. And ironically, of course, we, get to, we have the ability to create it because I kind of think they expect us to do it at this point when it really comes down to it. Okay. Kind of going through the predetermined method here. All right. Excellent. Astral construction. Enter continue. No open forms available. Okay. So mods for ourselves. We can't actually do any more of these uh, weapons mods or that. We do have the thing as we obscure weapon, construct a weapon, random mod. I'm not sure I want to do that. But I don't want to construct these things. I just want to, you know, get better at them. All right. So the thing is, of course, is that board countermeasures. Now, this is going to be. Let's see, kill enemies with service weapon in surge mode. Use surge foil firecracker against your enemy. I'm not sure. I don't think we have the surge mode. Pierce mode, a kill them in the executive sector. So if you kill 25 people, we get an additional random common material. Okay. Kill enemies with service weapon in spin mode. We don't have that. So I'm guessing the only thing we can do, except um, that, oh, charge maneuvers using charge. We don't have charge. Ooh. Good get that one going too which means that if we kill people in the shatter mode now we're gonna have to um see what we can do about that maybe we'll just finish this episode around with if you don't have additional outfits unfortunately uh figure out how the controls work again so right they say the new director can launch objects up to 20 feet bullshit you've never recorded any distance over five hey now, right, the P6 data there, dude. Frank, you didn't read the P6. It was in the memo. Did you read the memo? Did you read the memo, Frank? Anyways, back to controls, just quick. What the? Oh, there we go. Weird. Controls. Ah, uh, so we're doing the keyboard simply because it's easier to aim. Levitate, sprint, shoot, and aim and melee. I think that's how you pronounce it. Use weapon, shield, launch. There we go. E. I'm trying to remember myself what E was. We're going to have to experiment with this. And how does one switch between weapon launch? settings ah f i'm just getting acquainted with this f and e all right ef all right so let's try this oh we're not in combat we're supposed to go to the direct executive branch now if i remember where's the executive branch search away into the maintenance kill enemies oh we can only have one of these going at a time so what we're going to do i think is we're going to go back we're going to Get some EXP, do some grinding, get me back in the game. Computers, documents, any measuring devices you can find. Don't be poked as a surefire way to get on Darling's good side. Cool, so we're trying to suck up to the boss. I'm the boss now, you know, right? Okay, never mind. There we go. No, um, executive incursion. Oh, where? Oh, did we lose that? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, sorry. I guess we're going to have to kill some things in shatter mode, you know, and I'm kind of okay with that. And let's see if we can advance the plot for our maintenance sector. So we need to get into the elevator, I think. Yes, master. I still think he's God. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. <laughs> When somebody gives you something, they consider it an investment, not a gift. Right. The sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. All right, we've got shotgun Maybe up and running. It was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it, was it felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Um, that sucks. Is Ati guiding me too? Yes, Ati is God. Treat him respect with respect, even if he may be a bit senile. 
Just getting back in the flow of things. Wait, wait. Dude. Oh, there we go. Gotta remember what we're supposed to be doing here. Oh, cool. Got a lot of stuff I can throw. I'm gonna trash your place, God, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Don't have level two access. Come on. Ah. I'm the director, can't you let me in something more complicated in the bathroom? Oh, we can... Okay, tab. You're supposed to go forward, I think. I barely understand that map. I'm just following the signs. Jesse here. All right, so cool. Who wants some? The directorial override is right there, in the control room. Oh, gods. How do we get there? Walk, I think. And we're gonna have a lot to shoot a lot of people, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. Let's get this started. I want to see how bad I fail. Ah, he's armored, which means we can do this. Hello! Oh, it's one down. And to cover. Hey, I like this thing. Much better in many cases. Ah, you're shielded. But not anymore. More! Ah. Ooh. Shotguns are my big favorite melee weapon. All right, all right. All right. Headshot boost. I could use that. How do we open load up? Ooh, forgot we could do this. All right, shatter. We need to load something here. What do we have? Headshot, exclusive, low health burst, shatter, recoil efficiency. Makes me minus 5% more. Okay, projectile choke. It means that it tightens them. Let's go with efficiency for right now. It'll give us a little more ammunition. And yeah, we don't have any more here. Let's see what we got. Energy health boost, health boost. Launch efficiency, health boost, health boost, energy, health recovery. Hmm. Let's try that. Since we've already boosted up our health. All right, so after we had this little discussion about, you know, efficiency and not you know, succumbing to alien influences, I think I think we've made progress here, guys. I'm going to have like four people left in the entire division. After murdering 96% of them. All right, what do we got? Oh, gods. Real stick. Tristral training, ritual intuition. Yeah, I'm just like getting all sorts of achievement um, progress. It's showing me progress in the bottom right. And the I don't know if you guys see it yet, but let's let's play. Oh, whoops! Better switch weapons back. Uh, come on, come on, dude. Oh, hi. And while we're here, let's switch back to the heavy to the long range weapons. All right, there we go. Ooh, somebody, somebody's shooting where? From below. Run, run, come on, we can do this, we can do this. Dive to cover. Oh, there you are. You're down there somewhere? Oh, hi. Well, that was unpleasant. And there's more mods over there. Get back my health. Gain cover. All right, cool, I like the range on this. Things. Switch back. This seems to be more effective. Come on, come on, come on. I see you, I see you. Don't be... So you're terrible with grenades, by the way. Probably should switch back to the regular rounds. Yeah, they're better at long range. I don't think we can get past that section over there. It looks like it's too heavy. And hiss energy. Dark side is strong there. Ooh, probably thought there were actually stairs here. Guess I was wrong. Ooh. Alright, what are you gonna do now, dude? You can't see me. Come on, come on. I hear you. Ah, there you are. Hi. Alright. Okay, the music's changed. That means there are no more enemies. I'm guessing God's in charge, the DJ. Kind of give, trying to give us clues about how things work around here. I don't even remember where Neely is. But now I've got the shotgun, I'm not sure I care. Alright, more stuff. 
Jeez, how many assets do we have? Oi. Oops. Yeah. We'll get to that in a moment. Right now we're doing okay. Oh, flammable gas. Oh, it's too bad there's hidden back here. I would've had some fun with that shit. Come on. Oh, oh, I sweared. It's gonna... YouTube's gonna nail me for that. All right, so we got... Check your corners, go into cover. Andrew's office, excellent. Do, 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 do. What's down that way? Oh, I don't know, but you know? Ooh. Get the strange light in the break room. What do we got? Come on! Who's here? Alright, cool. Whoa! Oh my god, I'm back in Nightmare City. Oh my god, cleanse the merry-go-round horse. Here we go! I just to remember the controls here. Ugh, this place makes me nauseous. Well, it's the Demiurge. Unfortunately, the Demiurge is against all forms of power. Including the ones serving them. Don't tell me about it. Let's see, can't the quite fly. Power. Can't quite fly, I can I? Got down here. I don't know. Janitor likes rocking horses. A carousel horse. All right, all right, coming, coming. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Yeah, what? And clowns. Let's not forget clowns. All right, okay. Come on, Bessie. We want you to be happy again. Oh! Control to evade. What does that mean? Whoa! We got... We got Dash! Alright, cool. If we get this wrong, we get crushed, which is cool. We can't run across it. So after a few tries with the keyboard, I think we're going to try the controller. I think it's going to be a little bit more of a natural. Okay, so are we ready? No, not quite. Oh well. Mm, if you don't first, you don't succeed. Get crushed, crushed again. There we go. Alright, so, try this. Excellent. And the air evade. We can do this. We can do this. And A to A. All right, cool. We did it. Now we gotta do it again. Okay, so we managed to grab the edge there, which is good. And now this is gonna be a double challenge. We can do it. We can do it. Almost. It really doesn't help when you're being crushed to death by a hundred tons. Oof, timing's a bit off, apparently. All right, cool. And now, oh god, this is the part that I really hated. It's one that I couldn't do with the with the keyboard very well. All right, all right, we can do this. Come on, run, would you? No, that's not run. Uh, okay, cool. All right, cool. Let's do shooting gallery with me. All right, cool. Get, let's get out of here. Okay, so that happened. Oh no. Let's keep up with me now. Oh, cool. Now we gotta. Get out of here using air evade all the way. We can do this. Uh, I think they can keep up with you. They probably got their own people. On the other hand, I kind of appreciate that they make us do this because it really is makes sense. They would have a training course for the director. All right, we can do this. All right, cool. And okay, we'll do it one more time. All right, cool. Now we're running. Can't see the bottom. Okay, so there we go. You know, we'll just almost all the way up there. Okay, so hopefully uh, there's no way around, is there? Nope. They're gonna make us do it again. Well, you know, you gotta remember it's tough love, okay? They're really trying to make you your best, and sometimes that just involves you making you suffer a little bit. Of course, the searching the freaking searchlight off would be nice. Oops, sorry. I got a pop-up issue happening lately. I gotta work on that. All right, ready? All right, let's get this started. All right, cool, we did it. And we can just... Can we get the slide out of my eyes? Thanks. God, the light is the worst problem we're having here. All right, cool, back up here. And into the light, Carol Ann, into the light. 
I lose 10% of my source every time I die. God, I'm gonna be broke. Alright, so let's get this knocked out. Wrong button. Gotta get back used to that controller again. Now, I'm gonna try what I did before, by the way, which I'm gonna use in a combination of the controller and the mouse for targeted shooting. Let's see if it works. It worked well in the previous game. Which one was that? Um, all right, uh, Darkness 2. I did a let's try for that. We're going to see how it works here. Okay, we're going to find the janitor. Okay, so get a quick search around here. And we've got another place we can't get into because God does not want us to. God, of course, being the name for the dev. Well, yeah, let me double check something. Sorry about that. Recording's been a bit rough today. But I promise we will be working making this a bit smoother. Okay, so. Oh, here we go. I was looking for you. I knew there had to be another one of you around here. Now, I think you can... I think you can break down mods you don't want for additional material or source or whatever they want to call it. That's his office, I think. And we should just check that out because we all know progress is a bad thing in video games. And I think that's the break room again. Did we just wander around? Yes, we just want. No, he's messing with us again. Remember, he can create doors as he wishes. It is, after all. This is, of course, the section of the world tree, and he is, of course, its constructor or granitor or builder or whatever you you're, want to call the creator of the universe, constantly forced to clean up his own mess. No, I like how he poses there. It's always for effect. Well done. Nice test. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Sadama. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Mm, Archangel position? Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look. We need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. It is but now. First, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Well. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Side quest. Ah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell huh? you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. Does any internationals That's understand why you this? Make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I mean, I think. Oh, yeah, I agree with that one. Bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The pensioner? The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara, Berkele. Trying my best to keep is up. Is it with Ukrainian? This. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise, the power plant will blow. Cool. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later. Optional missions. When you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna <laughs> He's here's thoughts. Don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. Okay, that has to be a Slavic um, better go saying. Now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. All right, what the hell? The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. Oh my god. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Now we've clearance level two. I'm half tempted to go back and check out any other places. All right, so we're going to call the episode here. I mean, it was a little more stressful. I mean, you did not see the um, the number of uh, tries I did with the keyboard before I gave up and used the controller. Oh, God, let's check these out. We Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Everybody's safety demands it. Oh, somebody screwed up. Travel to Finland. So you're... F oh, of course. 
Remedy, Space, and Finland, these all have to be Finnish. Now, I assume they were Slavic, but, you know, Finland and Slav, they aren't really that far apart, and I apologize. Yes. I am semi-retired? Yes, thank you. Ah, you think he's dead. Oh my god, he's starting to get... Uh, Monday at 10 o'clock. No idea what that means. I wonder if there's actually an unlock here. But there's the thing we're going to double. Yeah, okay. So, sorry. Getting distracted again. So, let's see about this. Yeah. So, next episode, we're going to be tackling... See which we can do first. The side missions and go back and do two. And then double, double back and hit the plant. So, until then, this is Fantastic World. Saying farewell from Lovecraft Crafty. Hope you enjoy this. And, of course, as we said, we're into the meat of the... I'm... Oh, God. I'm talking here, Ati. I know you're God, but stop muttering to yourself. All right. There we go. Yeah, as I was going to say, the um, deal that is that, um, yes, these are the new fresh episodes from this point onwards. Everything is new, and hopefully we can get some, we can get digging into the story of why the universe is being invaded by alien, alien, um, hiss, an alien mimetic sonic based virus. Probably the best way to explain it. And, of course, if you like this, like, share, subscribe. Down below are links to the Gumroad payment platform. If you really like it and want to become a supporter and help unlock additional material, we also have stretch goals for a subscriber count. And, um, again, on Saturday, we're going to be resuming the Cultist Simulator Exile with, uh, series with the Exile DLC. And after that will be the Grimoire. I was hoping to reverse the... Uh, order on those two but circumstances have required me to make executive decision in that regard anyways i will see you next time i'd like to thank my acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise of the dark lords of content and data